Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm playing Bleak. This is another Global Game Jam 2015 game that I was really excited about. It's kind of another walking simulator, it's kind of another low-poly game, but uh, I really I really liked the concept, I thought it was super cool. It was made by Fox Chen and Kurt Young, who both work for a company called Makuni Games, who have some other games out, which I will link to because they're cute and fun, and you should look at them. Anyway, Bleak. Press space to close your eyes and interact with glowing objects. Let's press space. Close your eyes. It was the best day of my life, even if it was the end of the world. Use WSD to walk, right mouse button to drag, and look around. Okay. So the idea... Um, this isn't, I don't think, 100% conveyed in-game, but he was telling me about it as I was playing. Um, is that there was an apocalypse of some kind, and you're now here in the aftermath. Um, but if you close your eyes, you can still see the world as it was before. So, like, over here there's trees. It's daytime, there's trees and buildings and birds singing and blue sky. And now it's nighttime and dark and scary. Um, I love that idea. Oh yeah, there's like a path here. Like these are lights. Now they're all crooked and nasty and there's broken pa broken sidewalk, but this was like nice and straight and there was a fence and a hedges and it was all lovely. This was what? This was probably a fountain or a statue. Yeah. Really, really great idea. Really cool concept. I really like it a lot. So, wait, what was this? Snack bar? Looks like a snack bar. Now it's desolate. So, space to interact with glowing objects. Let's come up to this glowing object. Press space to interact. And now here we have a person. Sitting at a chair. And we can walk over to her. Okay, that was it. But, um... Can I do that again, I wonder? No. Um, but she was sitting at the chair. Okay. Let's, uh... Firstly, I want to go around the back of the snack bar and look at the back of the snack bar. Just because I like to look at the backs of things. I don't know why. I just always I always have. Right, what's this? I think this is a trash can. I, I wasn't close enough. Okay. There we go. Oh, she's there. She's feeding a squirrel. Or something in front of the trash can, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, she was feeding a squirrel in front of the trash can. So that's like my memory of the chair. It's my memory of the trash can. Let me head over here to this. There's a part of the statue, I would assume. She's pointing up. Is there anything up? She's saying, look. Can I walk over to her? Oh wait. Oh no. Oh jeez. Here's the airplanes. Now, I would assume these are bombers or something. They're coming to bring the bring the apocalypse. That's so creepy and ominous. Really beautiful. This beautiful green lush world and there's bombers and explosions just flying scarily overhead. And here we are. Back in the apocalypse. That's all there is to do, um, I believe. Yeah, if we interact with that it just brings us back to the bombers again. And that's, uh, that's as f oh, the shadows are cool. So that's as far as they got with this game. Um, not to say that that's not, like, really freaking awesome. Oh, this has, like, kids playing on it. That's so creepy. Um, but I think this is a brilliant concept. And, right, if I just interact with this, it does the same thing. Pretty sure. Yeah, it just brings me back here now. Um, I think that's a brilliant concept. And really, really, really cool execution of it that just, like, 
close your eyes to go back to what it was like. I think that's so interesting and really fun and, and sort of powerful. Um, I, th I believe they're planning to continue development of this game a little further. Um, if they do and th there's a release of some kind, I will definitely do another playthrough of it because I think it's a great idea and if they can expand on it any even further, that'd be really awesome. But uh, for now, I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.